going on guys and welcome back to another video where today we are back talking about rainbow six siege where today we are doing the ultimate rainbow six siege tier list for defenders defenders is what we're going to start with today i will do attackers in another video my last tier list came out on july 29th of 2022 this was a tier list of every single operator i feel like it's a little outdated so i'm going to go ahead and put it out um, put out a new one just to give you guys a more updated feel as far as what operators I think are S tier a tier B tier C tier and D tier last time I included an F tier this time I'm not going to unless I need to um, but yeah, I think a lot of things have changed within the past year um, I'm gonna potentially do this every single year just to kind of refresh um, You know the list um, And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we got the list here um, on tiermaker.com. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and do your own list. Um, but we are going to start off with Alibi. Now, I do remember this being extremely difficult last time around, um, especially when you have that blank page and nothing to compare it to. And that's kind of where I'm at with Alibi. As far as Alibi, last time I put her in a B tier. Now, this time around, she has lost her 1.5, as I am pretty sure that was different from last time around. I think that's really the only thing that has changed. Um, I had put her in B tier. This time around, I think I'm gonna put her in C tier. I just think overall there's better defenders, whether you know, you're know you playing Alibi to Rome. Um, the Prismas aren't the greatest thing in the world. They're all right, they're not terrible um, if you play it effectively. Um, but overall, I think her kit just puts her in a C tier this time around. Um, I do, however, like the loadout. A oh, Rooney. So this is an interesting one. I kind of think overall she's a little bit underrated. Um, I do like the DMR. Um, I can't, I don't believe there's been any crazy changes. Obviously, Brava has been added, so that's something that can take away. I want to say I put her in C tier last time round. Um, I honestly think now that I, I see her a lot more often, I think she's going to be a B tier operator this time round. Um, just as, you know, she can make rotates with her passive ability. She has the ability to deny any intel if, you know, drones come in, um, any utility with frags, smokes, um, you know, any type of projectile um, makes her pretty useful to get rid of util. And um, if played effectively on specific doorways, windows, or even walls, she can be very good. Specifically, I'm thinking about Chalet um, on the top site. Um, putting her walls, I used to put them on the actual front side of the wall rather than behind it. So that way somebody would have to clear my Arunis before putting down a Thermite or an Ace Charge or a Habana. They can't immediately do that. Plus I put it on the window. So that's even more util that they'd have to dump. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a Rooney B tier. Azami. Now Azami, I'm going to straight up just say she's an S tier defender. Um, I think her Kunais are extremely powerful. Um, she's one of the best operators in the game currently especially if you use that little cheese peak with two of the things uh two of her uh kunais to make that incredible peak hole um overall she's a very versatile operator um you can you know use her instead of a deployable shield you can use her um underneath a soft mira um to give some protection to that mira um I just think overall her kit is very good with the protection. Obviously, explosives will take out her ability, but right now I'm gonna put Azami in S tier. Bandit, okay. Bandit, I mean, if you play Bandit correctly, he can definitely be an S tier operator. Last time around, I did put him in S tier. I don't think there's really anything that has changed with Bandit specifically um, to take him away from S tier. So I think I'm just gonna keep him in S tier this time around. He's just a vital character that I think most teams need to run, whether it's, you know, Bandit or Cade. Obviously, Mute can be an option, but Mute's not as good. Um, but with Bandit, you know, you can Bandit trick. Um, I'm not the greatest at Bandit tricking, but overall, I do think Bandit is an S tier operator. And for those of you that say the MP7 is not good, try it with Iron Sights. Tell, tell you what, it's a lot better. Castle, okay, Castle's an interesting one. Castle, I also think is an underrated operator overall. With Castle, um, I believe last time around I put him in a C tier. I think he's more of a B or A tier player. 
Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, because not every castle main is really good, I'm gonna put castle, do I like him more than a Rooney? I do. Um, I'm going to put castle in a B tier. I think he is a B tier defender. Overall, he's pretty good. Um, his ump is kind of a weak weapon, but he does come equipped with the super shorty um, to go ahead and give out those nice rotations, kind of like a Rooney, but obviously you're using a gun rather than the passive ability of punching. Um, so Castle, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put B, especially you know if paired with a Mute, um, can definitely go to an A tier. Um, but for now, I think I'm gonna put him in B. Caviera, um, interrogation girl. Um, you know, overall, Caviera is one of those operators that I I don't really know where to put her. I obviously in low elo, she's a very good um, roamer. Um, she's a very good operator to select. Um, in higher elo, I don't think she's nearly as good. I think she can be played well. I like her loadout overall. Now, especially in this case, I think last time I put her in B tier. This time, I'm gonna put her in C tier. I don't think she's as good as other roamers that are out there. I don't think she's um, as capable. Now, of course, this is coming from an Emerald player um, and what I see at the higher level, I just don't see Cavi's presence all that much, um, especially just because I think there's other operators that are even better than she is at this very moment. Clash, okay. So Clash, I'm instantly putting D tier. Last time around, I put her in F. This time around, we don't have an F. Um, we have a D instead. So um, Clash is an operator that is banned very, very often. She, I think we were looking at the stats um, recently. She's not very used in console lobbies. She is used a decent amount in PC lobbies. Now, of course, Clash has a very high ban rate, not because um, she's extremely good, but because she's annoying. She's one of the operators that will slow down time. She um, takes away a lot of time and cancels that out. Now, do I think Clash deserves better? Not really. I I don't even know what a buff would look like um, at this point. Um, I think she's kind of in a spot where she's just meant to do her job and her job's just to be annoying. Um, but she is banned a lot. She's not, her presence is not really there in ranked as far as high elo. Um, specifically because she's banned a lot because of how annoying she can be. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna put Clash at D. Doc. Um, Doc's an interesting case. Um, last time around, I put Doc in D tier. Um, I just didn't think that he was good, as good as he was. Now, this time around, I'm gonna put him in C. And the reason for that is I believe between now and last year, and of course my memory might be wrong. Um, so correct me if I am, you know. But Doc is an operator that now can heal an operator all the way back to full health and more. Um, before his stims did a specific amount of health, now it's the full. So I think overall that gets you, gets Doc to a very good spot. He does 140 healing essentially. Um, and can, you know, if you're downed and you get picked up with that, I mean, that's phenomenal. You're already full health again. So, but I still don't think he's as strong as other defenders, but I do, I'm gonna put him in C tier, which I mean, with Alibi is not terrible. Um, with Cavi, not terrible, you know, C tier for now. Echo, Echo is one that has been changed far too much. He was killed. Essentially, his drone used to go invisible. It no longer goes invisible, no longer has that cloaking ability. And it's one of those operators that I have noticed that the presence in ranked specifically has gone down drastically. He's not used as much because, in my opinion, of that cloak. Um, it's very easy to spot an Echo drone now. Um, now, of course, am I saying he's useless? No, by, not by any means. Last time I put him in B tier, this time I'm going to put him in C tier. Just another operator that is not crazy um, good or anything like that, but an operator that I myself think is not really that good anymore. His his kit though, the MP5 as well as the bearing nine is a very good kit for Echo. Um, he's also got that supernova if you wanted to use it for the shotgun. Um, 
obviously just go with the MP5. Ella! Ella is an interesting case. She used to be phenomenal. She has definitely gone down. Um, her her overall ability is pretty good. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to put Ella in a D tier. Now, I am realizing once again that Clash is one of those operators that I, th I think Ella is better than Clash. I think Clash is worse. Um, so you know what? I can I edit the tier list? I can. Um, let's add a row below. And let's name you. We're doing it again. We are doing it again. We're putting Clash in F tier. I'm putting Ella in D tier because it just made sense. I feel like Ella is not good as Alibi, Cavi, Doc, or even Echo, but is better than Clash. Um, like I said, I don't think there's much you can change with Clash unless you completely just get rid of the shield or make it something different. Um, and I, at that point, I think she'd become annoying and OP. So it's just one of those characters um, that I don't think can be necessarily changed. She's a fine defender, um, but that's not who we're talking about. Ella Grismont Mines, great. Um, her weapons, I just don't think are as powerful as they used to be. Um, and maybe that's coming from a console player that never played on PC uh, up until a couple years ago. Never got to see the greatness of, um, you know, um, her SMG. Um, but overall, I think she's a decent operator, but I'm gonna put her in D. Fenrir, the newest defender within Rainbow Six Siege and probably the most def banned defender I see. I'm putting Fenrir as an S tier um, operator. Um, this is an operator that uses a, can, it can be a big brain operator. Um, his blind um, ability, I can't even think of the word it's called, um, but that gas is too powerful. Um, or like Arena Blind in Valorant, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but one of those characters that I think is basically an Instaban. Uh, it's an operator that um, has a pretty decent kit with the MP7, as well as the Bailiff. And he's just an, an operator that right now I think is too powerful, probably needs a nerf. I don't know what they do unless they remove um, either a key or one of his abilities. Um, I do think he's cool in the aspect that he can turn specific ones off and has a limited amount of keys. I think that's cool. Um, but it's an operator right now where I think he's an S tier. Frost. Now Frost recently got changed. The Frost rework is unfortunately here. And um, in my opinion, it made her a worse operator. Um, it is an intriguing effect that you get. You become slow for a minute um, as well as have that debuff for that minute. Um, now, if paired with specific operators, um, as an attacker, obviously you can get rid of that debuff, and I'm talking Finca, um, or if you're picked up. Now, this becomes, I don't think she's changed a terrible amount. I do think she's worse than she was before. So if there was a B minus, I'd put her in B minus. Right now, I'm putting her at B, which I believe is on par with what I had in the previous ranking that I had. Um, great loadout, has a shotgun. Um, actually has a primary and secondary shotgun if she wants to go ahead and make rotates. Um, but overall, I think Frost's kit's great. I just don't like the change that they did to her. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put her B. If paired with other operators, she can still be great. You can pair with Legion, get that kill um, as you know you used to be able to. Go Yo, okay. Go Yo is an interesting one. I think he's another operator that is fairly underrated. Um, if used correctly, he can be in a, a big annoyance. Um, and obviously, I think he had this change a year ago, but um, the fact that you can now put it on the walls and it's not attached to a deployable shield that's been out for a while now, um, makes him a better operator than he was in the past. Now, I don't think there's been much change to Goya within the last year. And I think last time I had him in a C tier. I'm gonna keep him in the C tier. I don't think his kit has really changed. I think he's an okay operator. I don't think there's really necessarily anything special with him. Um, but I do think he, if used smart and correctly, he can be a deadly force, especially end round. Jaeger. Now, you know, the ACOG goat he used to be an ACOG goat. Um, I don't, I, I still see Jaeger a decent amount. I'm putting Jaeger A tier. He's our first A tier operator on the board. Um, Jaeger, 
you know, getting rid of the denial as far as any projectiles, nades, um, with that ADS, a very, very good operator. Um, obviously has seen a lot of changes. He used to be an S tier operator in my opinion. Um, I believe last time I also put him in A, um, but for now, I'm gonna put him in, a. I'm gonna keep him in A. Um, but his AR is great. Um, I mean, if you really wanna sh shoot for the MA-70, it's a phenomenal shotgun as well. Um, ADSs are extremely useful. Not enough people run it, um, but it is really, really good. So Cade's an interesting one, of course. Um, he's got the denial like Bandit, um, electrifying walls. He can also Cade trick if you're smart enough. Um, he's also got a great loadout with the TCSG as well as the AUG. Um, I believe last time around I put him in an, in A tier. I'm gonna keep him, at, I'm gonna move him up to an S tier defender. I think he's, he like Bandit are both operators that a, every team needs to have. Um, well, depending on the objective, of course, some objectives don't really matter, like coastline hookah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, I think Cade overall, great operator, someone that probably should be used as much as Bandit. If Bandit's banned, um, you know, you shift over to Cade and it'll just do the fine, the job just as fine, if not better. Who can, Cap can, he has a great utility. Um, I believe last time I put him in B tier. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in B tier again. A great trap operator. Um, obviously, I don't know if this was something new from last time around, it may have been. Um, but last, um, obviously he has the change that he can stack um, his ability on multiple doorways and windows. Very useful, a lot better of an operator than he used to be back in the day, only being able to put one. Um, was he able to put one? Yeah, right, and he had up the laser as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Capcan as a B tier operator. Great weapon, great loadout as well. An operator that probably should be um, probably the best trap operator. Um, obviously, you now have Bravo that can turn them against them, but um, overall, a f great operator, especially late game when the uh, attackers are trying to rush the site. Legion. Now, Legion recently got changed. I believe last time I had him as an A tier operator. This time around, I'm gonna put him as a B or C. Now, which one do I like more? I'm gonna keep him as a B tier operator. I still don't think he's he's terrible. It's still worse than it was before, which is why I'm putting him in, as a B tier operator. Um, and overall, um, I just don't think his kit is nearly as good as it used to be now that the cloaking ability is gone, kind of like Echo. Um, as well, they're no longer considered electronics, so that, I guess, technically is a buff for him since IQ um, can no longer see them. But um, they have such a small radius, um, and you kind of have to hide them behind doorways and, you know, put them in specific spots to where an attacker won't see them. His loadout's phenomenal. Um, obviously, his SMG, even his shotgun is fine now. Um, but overall, I'm going to put Legion as a B-tier operator. I don't think the change was needed. Um, clearly they did it, um, but I do like the addition of the additional damage as well as the stacking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him as a B tier defender. Maestro, Maestro is an intriguing one. Maestro, I'm gonna put as a C tier operator. Um, he's someone that I've noticed as well as Echo. His presence is just not what it used to be. Um, and maybe that's the addition of the Gon 6. Maybe that's the um frags taking them out but i just don't see his presence nearly as much as i used to maybe that's the rank difference i'm not totally sure but i think maestro overall just isn't the operator he used to be um i think his lmg is perfectly fine his shotgun is perfectly fine as well um obviously he's got the bailiff as well um overall a great operator um i just think if used correctly he could probably be in a b tier um, which I think I've kind of deranked him a little bit, but I'm gonna put him as a C tier operator this time around. I just, I need more presence to really judge him better. Um, but he's not terrible. I mean, if you pair him up with a Goyo, he's even better. Malusi, Malusi's an interesting case. Um, I think she's a solid operator. I'm gonna go A tier. She's got the MP5, great weapon. Um, she is now a three armor, I'm pretty sure. She's got um, impact grenades. Um, overall, her kit's great. Um, her ability, her web webs, uh, as my friend calls it, um, great overall ability and one that I think is fairly well. And one that is just used 
um, if used correctly, can be very effective. I mean, you can pair it with really anything, um, but it's kind of, I guess proximity mines can also go in place, but good good operator, good ability, um, going A tier. Mira, um, Mira is an interesting case. I think if used correctly, she can be a phenomenal operator. Um, she's banned quite often. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put Mira as a, I'm thinking A or B. Um, I'm gonna put her as an A tier operator. I think she's one of those operators that you kind of have to deal with pretty early on, try and get rid of those black mirrors. I think that's what they're called, right? Um, get rid of them as soon as possible. And just an overall operator that um, is can, can be an annoyance to deal with. You need smoke grenades, obviously, if you don't want to be seen. Um, great operator, um, great kit. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the vector, but I know she's very effective. Um, so I'm gonna go A tier for Mira. Mozzie, now Mozzie right now, I'm putting as an A tier. Um, he's an A tier operator. Might even be an S tier operator. Um, his Roni is far too powerful. I know that they've nerfed it, um, but it is still a very good weapon. The 1.5 is something I would like to see removed off of Mozzie um, and the Roni. Anyways, maybe put it on the commando if you really want to go ahead and put it on one of his weapons, put it on the commando instead of the Roni. Um, but I just think his Roni is too powerful, even with the limited bullets, uh, bullet count. Just one of those operators that I think is very powerful at the moment. My friend um, mains him, literally only plays him for the weapon. Um, his pests are great um, if placed correctly. Um, you know who I'm talking to. Um, by the way, place them better, not in doorways where people are going to barricade like a castle, please. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good operator. Mute. Now, Mute is an operator where I think I disrespected him last time around. Um, he has climbed my rankings significantly. Um, and I think his kit is overall really good. And I'm going to go ahead and put Mute as an A tier operator. Um, like I mentioned earlier, not as good as Bandit and Cade as far as denial, but he is still really good. Um, and one of those operators that, um, you know, you can turn off your phone, you can turn off, you can avoid lion scans. You, you know, there's certain interactive things that you can do with his mute jammers that won't affect you with, if you're within the vicinity. Um, overall, I do think he's a really good operator. Um, he's, I love his shotgun, I love his kit, um, as far as the SMG 11, even his SMG is great. Mute, great operator, um, and I'd even put him on par with any of the guys in A tier that I have at the moment. Um, so yeah, Mute, A tier. Oryx, Oryx is an interesting operator. I think he is probably one of the better roamers on the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him as an A tier operator, specifically because, um, I just think roaming wise, he's probably one of the better ones. Um, obviously he has this passive ability that he can climb uh, hatches, which I think is super effective. Um, he has a great kit um, as far as his loadout goes. Um, his R Rama dash, I think is what it's called. Uh, Kool-Aid man through the wall. Um, very good in specific situations. I personally wouldn't use it to open up rotates, um, even though some people do. I just would rather have the health and use my, my bailiff to, you know, open it up um, on my own. So if you're gonna, you know, I personally think he's fine as the prox mines as well. You can pair that up. Um, but yeah, Oryx A tier. Pulse. Now Pulse is an operator that I have grown to love specifically on Clubhouse is where I main Pulse. Um, he's a great operator, can be um, phenomenal. Um, and you can play below. I'm putting Pulse as an A tier. I think I had him A tier last time around as well. I just think his ability is, is very good in specific situations. Um, and one of those operators that you can really take advantage of, um, especially late game with a plant, um, you know, just get a free pick. If you're in a basement objective and they're above you, you could, the shotgun's fine. Um, his ump is okay, not phenomenal, but it is, you know, good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go Pulse A tier. Rook, okay. Now, back in the day, I would have put Rook at F tier. Now, he's a far better operator than he once was. Um, far better. And I'm happy to say I'm gonna put Rook as a B 
tier operator. Um, for me, I think he's S tier, personally, my personal thought. And but I think competitive wise, he's B. Um, and the reason I say that is I use Rook more so. If I'm struggling, I know I can pick it up with Rook. More health um, now with his shields. You can self revive. You know what? A tier. You can self res. I forgot about that. That's a new thing with Rook. You can self res. I'm putting him A tier. Great weapons. Um, if you want to, you know, bring a packed lunch for your, your teammates, you know, something, something good. I'm putting him A. Probably deserves B, but that self res is very good. Um, and I mean, you can give it to whatever operator, and it just, it's just good. Smoke. Smoke's an operator that I think is a phenomenal pick. Obviously, he's lost his deploy, which did bring his value down a little bit. Last time, I believe I put him in A tier. This time around, I am going to keep him in the A tier. I don't think it's changed his value too much. Um, I do, however, think he's not as good as he probably was before. Um, but his smoke canisters is, is great. His loadout's great. Please bring the shotgun and the SMG over the FMG and the SMG. Um, just makes a lot more sense. Um, but it, when paired with an operator that has a deployable, you can still do what you used to be able to do beforehand, which was waste time and just prevent attackers from pushing up. Paired up with a Jaeger, paired up with the deployable shield and overall smoke. You're gonna waste time, that's your job, and just do it effectively. Um, and you'll prevail, victorious. Solus, very, very good operator. Very good operator. Two new operators are in the S tier with Fenrir and Solus. I just think they're both really good. Solus specifically, um, intel wise, there's a lot of electronics on attack. Um, she's very useful to go ahead and see that. You can play her underneath with a shotgun. You can even do it with the SMG and her impacts and just wait for a plant. You can do exactly what Pulse does, if not better with Solus. And I think overall, she's a far, she's a great operator. Um, great kit with the P90, the shotgun, the SMG 11 as well. Um, I'm putting Solus S. I, I just don't see another place for her. Tachanka. Um, last time, I'm pretty sure I put Tachanka as an S tier, specifically as a troll. Um, I don't think there was any necessarily intent. I was just saying, obviously, he's a god. Um, you know, praise the Lord Tachanka type of thing. Um, but I think Tachanka probably was previously a C tier. I think with his um, buff, I'm going to put Tachanka as a D tier operator. I don't think he's phenomenal. I don't think he's bad just because he's D tier doesn't mean he's terrible. Just like Ella, I don't think she's terrible. I just don't like her kit as far as her, her weapons. And um, I mean, her ability is fine, um, but it has gotten nerfed over the years. Now, Tachanka obviously has the new LMG buff. It does 60 damage compared to, I believe it was 49. So 11 damage more. It can two shot specific characters. Um, and I, I just think overall his kit's getting better. Um, he should be more viable. I was going between, I was honestly going between B, C, and D. And I think right now, just because presence wise, he hasn't been seen very much. Um, I'm still going to put him as a, as a D tier for now. Maybe next year he can go up. Thorn ability wise, I don't think is crazy. I, I don't think she's crazy. Her gun and having the 1.5 puts her in B tier. Um, she's a great overall defender. Um, good roamer great weapon like i mentioned before plus you have the c75 auto as a backup as well which is not terrible um and i mean if you can play her ability i mean if it hits you and you're close you're dead you know great operator for some reason one of my friends gets kills with her all the time i seem to struggle with that but great operator you can really you know either push her out of the site push her into the site further to reveal her more and probably get killed by uh get killed by a thorn um my bad so probably yeah push attackers and duh um and get them killed thunderbird i don't think thunderbird is very good um if doc is c thunderbird's d um and the reason for that is more so just the fact that def attackers can use her ability too i mean obviously it is a really good ability but 
if an attacker overtakes that area, they have free heals. And I just don't necessarily see that as a positive. Um, it can be more of a risk than, you know, than a reward. And for now, I'm going to put Thunderbird as a D tier. I think last time I put her as a B tier. And I don't necessarily think that I agree with that anymore. Um, looking at the operators, I'd rather have any of these people on my team than Thunderbird. Straight and simple. Um, good weapons, though. Um, just need specific changes, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't know what those changes would be. Um, but for now, I'm going to put her as a D-tier operator. Valkyrie! Valkyrie is an operator that is an intriguing one. And one of my favorites, I'm putting Valkyrie as an S-tier operator. Um, her kit's great. Her her cameras, black eyes, are, are, are phenomenal. Um, there's Valkyrie cam spots that you can, you know, look up i myself have looked at coconut bra specifically for them um and i mean they're phenomenal um very it brings intel to you, the defending team much needed intel you know when your teammates die they can be on cams you give great call outs um i've won rounds because of valkyrie cams and i just think overall she's phenomenal phenomenal pick great loadout um, with the MPX as well as the Deeg, and I just think she's S tier personally. Vigil, Vigil's an interesting one. I think Vigil has, I don't know what the change was specifically, but it feels like he got a nerf. So I'm gonna put him as a B tier operator. Um, I think last year I put him as an A tier. I, do, I just personally would rather have an Oryx, um, would rather play Oryx than, than Vigil. I think overall his weapon kit's phenomenal. Um, his ability, I'm not sure what was changed specifically. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of being able to see the lines now. It's just it's just weird. Um, but yeah, um, let me know whether you agree with that or not and why Vigil should be up more. Um, I highly doubt you guys are going to say that he should be down more. Maybe if you guys do, I mean, let me know in the comments. Well, my now I don't think well, my is necessarily on the same ground as Jaeger. I think he's a great operator, great kit. But I'm going to put Wamai as a B-tier operator. I think last time I put him as A-tier with Jaeger. Don't remember my reasoning back then. Probably because they're virtually the same operator. Um, but I myself am going to put Wamai as a B-tier. Um, obviously, it doesn't destroy projectiles. It redirects them and then re-triggers their, their cycle. So then they then start again and then blow up. Or whatever it is. Smoke, you know, whatever. Um... <coughs> I think he's a good operator if used correctly, if placed correctly. Um, but yeah, specifically this time around, I'm going to put him as B. Warden. Now, Warden recently got changed. Um, Warden is now a fat boy. Um, he is a three armor. He used to be a two armor, I believe. And he had the 1.5. He still has the 1.5. So with all those changes, I'm going to say Warden's probably C tier. I just his his kit's great um i like his uh, you know obviously ability to see through smokes as well as stun grenades um and flash you know I, I think overall that kit is great but his nerf of becoming fatter i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of obviously he has more health now he's just not as quick um and overall i mean his ability i just think there are certain ones that are even better than his um Obviously, if somebody doesn't have smoke grenades or aren't using flashes, um, Warden's ability just comes, becomes useless. Um, but I mean, up against a Blitz, he's zest here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put him as a C tier operator. Now, this is gonna be the list for me um, and what I think of the R6 defenders. So, you know, if you guys agree let me know if you guys disagree with anything please do let me know i know last year i had somebody say well if you made all these good points about clash why is she f tier it's my opinion i mean it's it's nothing more than that i just think certain certain aspects really haven't changed i mean you look at her presence certain numbers and you know they're not as used as often i mean ella's not really used i don't see her often tachanka i don't see used very often thunderbird i don't see used very often uh, maestro echo have seen down um cavi there there's good operators for sure and at least for now this is my list you know this is my list and I think this is the ultimate Rainbow Six Siege tier list um, as far as defenders go. So if you guys did like this video, please do like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to have attackers list 
out next week. Um, and we'll see if you guys agree or disagree with those as well. Um, I'll probably have more disagreements than agreements. But um, yeah, we're going to try and get more content out. I am fully trying to go full throttle on the YouTube content, Twitch content, um, even kick now. Um, so if you guys want, you know, check me out. Links down below. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.